Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. So thank you ever so much for tuning in uh, for another week if you have. Stephen Wilson strives to be original in every facet of his music and deciding to forego the prog rock coattails that he's had for, I would say, most of his solo career, the new album that he's put together looks at more of a minimalist idea and is almost completely electronic. And you could say that the Future Bites is his most daring release yet. From what I've gleaned from this record, it explores the idea of what the very nature of self is. And this ranges from the more narcissistic, self-obsessed idea on follower, which is kind of, you know, led by social media. To more of an understanding of what a sense of self is on the track, self. Self-image and self-belief, selfish acts. Another big theme is, you know, longing for self-fulfillment, which I find, you know, is particularly on Personal Shopper. The Future Bites for me begs the questions of looking at how technology and human relationships, human nature really interact and how these two factors are actually creating a, a massive change in the way that we socialise as a species. Musically, I find that this album is both pushing Wilson's sound into kind of uncharted territory, but is also strangely familiar. Man of the People and 12 Things I Forgot, for example, really kind of threw me back to the material that was on Four and a Half, uh, the small EP, but also some of the Blackfield material, like um, from 44 to 48. And there's also some small hints of uh, the earlier Stephen Wilson solo record stuff and the later Porcupine Tree material as well. I also think that Stephen Wilson has experimented to have vocals, but in more of an abstract sense. On tracks, for example, like King Ghost, he's looked at changing the pitch of the vocal to make it sound like there's someone else there. <laughs> On Man of the People, there's this kind of uh, talk box effect. On Self, it's a very robotic, devoid of any emotion sound. And there's even a sense of distortion on Eminent Sleaze. Self-absorbed and self-obsessed. Though I have to say, I think the thing that hits it home is the album centerpiece, which is Personal Shopper. So it features a guest appearance from Elton John, but he's not banging out, you know, his amazing vocal range. Instead, he's reading out this list of consumerist items in a very monotone voice that, again, I think enhances the idea of this faceless, emotionless and quite ominous um, corporation that is just force feeding us information and media to just buy more shit. <laughs> Lug in self esteem, 180 gram vinyl. It's a modern Black Mirror esque take on the classic dystopian, are the machines taking over? But the problem is, is that machines already have taken over. And that's, I think, the real rub of this record. So thank you ever so much for watching this album review. The Future Bites is out now and you can stream it everywhere or buy it on vinyl, as I'm sure Stephen would recommend. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys thought of the video and the album. Are you a huge fan, like me? <laughs> or is it kind of something new you've never listened to? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week for another album review. Be safe, and I'll see you soon. Tomorrow.